is Dr. Judith Bryles, The Book Shepherd, and I have a tip for you about what formats to use. Which way do you go when it comes time to officially publish your book? It's a great question. Should you do a hardback or case bound, a paper edition, an audiobook edition, an ebook, or are there more? Let's start with that case bound hardback. In most cases, you're not going to be doing that. You could consider, oh, maybe a classic. Do it as a classic and a limited run. If you do that, I would hold off before I printed the print edition, the paper edition. All right, six months. Once you pass the six months, then trigger and bring in your paper, which of course has a new ISBN. At the same time you do your hardback case bound, or if you do the paper first, you also will then create the ebook. But wait till you finish all your editing, you've approved the proofs, and you're ready to move it off to that next format, the ebook. When you're completed with that, think about doing an audiobook. There's a variety of different ways to create audiobooks, either with professional narrator or if you have a strong voice and you can do it, you might want to do it yourself. And then you might want to consider a variable. If you have a children's book, a children's book is you make it a video audio variation where you have a someone who does the narration in the background of the book describing everything similar to what the imagination video book dot org does for blind children and children who are deaf and read by sign. Those are options you want to consider at the very beginning. And why? Even if you haven't done them all, let's say you're going to start with the paper edition and you're going to do the ebook right away, but it's going to be a while before you do the audiobook. I would still make sure your copyright page includes all the ISBNs for all the editions that are current as well as those to come. So then you don't have to change it again when you have that edition available. This is Judith Browse, your book shepherd. Hey, make sure you sign up for our regular daily tips, at least Monday through Friday, on the YouTube channel.